Do you want to show everyone your masterpiece that you've done today? Dan's fit of the new light in the kitchen. I feel like you can't really tell that much. I'm going to turn the light on. Oh, it's cute. I really like it. Yeah, I think we're not in the pain to fit though. I really like the brass detail into it. I think that goes really nice. But I also think it matches up with the cupboards really nice as well. Obviously, ignore him. That's basically from where we drilled the holes and everything. So that just needs dusting off. That's like a two minute job. So yeah, ignoring that bit. But then I think the light fitting goes really well with the cupboards. I've taken my glasses off because I can't actually take myself seriously with them on. And I've also just realised I've not even introduce this vlog properly so hi everyone welcome back to my channel and welcome back for a brand new video so for today's video we've got another house renovation vlog we're actually going to go and look at fences again at bnq because they've got 15 percent off so i think we're going to quickly measure what we think we need because there's some fencing along the bottom and a little bit at the side i'll go out in the garden i'll show you in a second um but then we need like basically all the hedges to come out and cover that with fencing there's a dog next door that doesn't like other dogs ivy doesn't like other dogs and it almost came underneath the bushes yesterday and like tried to come after ivy we've just decided that like we just need to basically get it done because obviously it's summer it's really nice weather now and we just want to be able to go in the garden and sit out in there properly so yeah we're going to go to b&q we're going to look at all the fencing see which ones we want i think we're going to paint it black i'm going to put two pictures up here of what you think we should do. I put a poll on my Instagram story and everyone said black over beige, but I'm still very indecisive. So I'm gonna let you all choose down below. I'm gonna take out all of them hedges, all the way down to the bottom there. And then we've got the fence in there that we put in originally. And then we need to take it all the way up to that fence in there. So we think we need about 14 fence panels. We're gonna leave these ones for the time being. And also the one at the bottom as well. So yeah, we've got like, all of that that we need to buy fencing for we also need like the posts that are the concrete things in the middle and also the panels that go at the bottom you can kind of see on that one over there b and q is literally so empty i think oh no it's not fuck's sake <laughs> i just the camera out and i was like b and q is so empty and there's sort of four people um how many did we say we needed 19. how big is it nine hundred and 14 foot so we need 19 fence panels we're gonna get the six foot by five foot fence panels 19 gravel wards how many posts i don't know i need to cut that out i need to space that out i think that's gonna be about i think it'll be about 17 because there's already one at either side yeah it's i don't know i think it's about 17 in the 32 pound is it the off the 15 percent off is that online only yeah probably you'll have to order them online anyway uh, we we'll probably would have get 19 yeah. in the star. Cool. The fence panels here are so expensive, they're the £41 and there's a place near us that do them for £11 each. So we're just gonna get them ones instead. They're tiny and they're like £2 cheaper. Yeah, I have to get them for the front, something like that. Do you think? I have to get some of the front though. Oh my god, £127. Why is the fencing so expensive? I just want a pretty garden. It's just wood. It's just wood. <laughs> Literally. Oh my gosh, we're getting another thumbnail. <laughs> we also need concrete to put the posts in. Luckily, Dan and his dad have already done that like small little bit that I've shown you, so they're gonna do the rest of it. We're not gonna have to pay someone to actually put it in. Is it really <laughs> <laughs> I've come to be in queue with a child. <laughs> is it really sad that my favourite part of being getting scared now? Is it really sad that my favourite part of being queue is the lights section? Oh, this is cute. Oh, it's plastic though. No, not me. It looks like a jellyfish. Do you know what I mean? Kind of. It's giving jellyfish vibes, or is it not? Mm -hmm. Oh, fair enough. <laughs> I do like this one as well, though. That's really nice. There's the box. Matching lights available. I want them for the tall one, though. So we could have a, a tall one. Is that? Yeah, I'm sure, sorry, I Oh, we could have a tall one, of, like in the corner behind the sofa. Cause we're gonna get a corner sofa. And then that one from like a little table. I'm so excited. I'm really excited for fencing. Oh my goodness, it's there! 
How cute would that be? Like behind the sofa, like I said. Yes. I'm literally stuck on repeat. <laughs> yeah, um, that's why I said just then like us. <laughs> Dan takes the piss out of me because I get distracted really easy. We've just walked around the circle. Yeah. Twice. Oh my god. <laughs> Firefly lights. Look how cute they are. I think they'd look a bit tacky on the fence though. It's a fun and interesting way to add to your electricity bill, isn't it? No, they're solar. No. Smart solar, bro. Solar. I'm gonna definitely get demonetized. Are they playing Dolly Parton or something? Are we. They're cute. So you can what I mean, I do get really distracted. Are we gonna look at Patio for outside? I really like those pants, are they? Aisle 57. That's what that panel will look like. We're gonna do this. Like, sort of halfway behind the TV, if that makes sense. I'm gonna get something that looks like that. You can actually buy them online where they've basically already got them ready made and it's felt behind so you don't have to paint the wall. But I don't know which is gonna be easier or cheaper. That should all paint that. I know, but I don't like the wallpaper. You can see it's not 3D. I need to find out how much these are. I don't like the curtains that we've got. They've not even got a price on them. Oh yeah, they do. No, they don't. So for the fence paint, we're either thinking this one here, which is natural stone, or there's this one, which is urban slate. We really don't know what to do. We're gonna do it around the entire garden as well. So I really like the look of this one because it looks nice and clean. But then that one I feel like is going to be easier to maintain. Dan's driving now because I've just been driving and apparently, I don't know, they're way too much wins and I got, do you know when you get really flustered and there's loads of people? You said it again, we're not going to map when. Where are we going? <laughs> Wix. I don't know why I keep calling it map wins. <laughs> we're going to Wix. Dan's driving because I don't know how to drive. We think because we might have to get the fencing from B&Q obviously all being well. Like it depends on how much it is at Wix, not Maplin's. Um, but we think to get the 15% off, we'll have to order online. So, yeah. Look at how narrow it is. Oh, it's huge. I think if we were to replace our shower, we'd get something that looks like this. And I also really like this mirror. <laughs> Defo is going to get copyrighted in here. Um, we've also found some stick-on tiles that we want to get for the kitchen. We just need to find out if they do them here. But I know they definitely do them in home bargains, if not. Wix was a big fat no. They basically got exactly what we've seen in B&Q for the same price. To be fair, they don't really have much of anything, do they? They've not got like any different fence panels or fence posts or anything. So I think we're literally just going to measure everything that we need and then oh my god my bag's stuck in the door yeah. measure everything that we need and then buy it all from being q we're also contemplating maybe gray for the fences so we've got either beige gray or black and everyone needs to vote down below and tell me which one you think is going to look best i don't want it to be live laugh love vibes so i'm kind of thinking no to the gray yeah i think black i think black white walls yeah because we'll have like white post concrete so they're the things that divide the fences in the middle and put like a wall across that we're we going to put a little wall across from... yeah i'll put an inspo picture up here it's basically the one that i'm going to show you at the beginning of the video the like white things that you can see going around is what we're going to build in the end okay i was supposed to put a video wow well, that's not english i was supposed to put a video up it's saturday morning now i was supposed to put one up this morning and i didn't even have one pre-recorded like I normally do. So I'm supposed to be filming one now, but we also need to go to somewhere called Peplos, like I was saying earlier in the vlog, to get like the fence panels and things like that. The reason we need to go now is because they're literally closed in like half an hour, so I can't pre-record my video. But yeah, we're gonna go there. Defos need to change my outfit though, because I think to go to like a garden landscaping place, this is probably, not that you can see, but it's probably a little bit too extra. I'm gonna get changed now, but basically we're gonna buy the posts and also the gravel boards literally need to leave now and i can't find anything also we've kind of done ourselves over because b and q had 15 percent off on basically all outdoor things like garden things so they had 15 percent off on the on the fence panels 
and we could save like I think it was like nearly 200 quid altogether with the amount that we needed I'm going to order them today because we was like oh we'll just order them at the weekend they don't have the 15% off anymore and they're £32 each and we need 19 of them love that we just bought gravel boards end posts and like the middle posts I'm stuck on repeat mate honestly we're thinking about decking but decking is going to be a whole lot more expensive so Patio it is. Yeah. I think it'll look nice and be there, nice but... down at the bottom. It gets sun all day, so it'd be a nice area to. Yeah, it's just the money. Yeah. I feel like I can actually show you a better angle of things here. So there's no windowsill on, um, and we're going to get some stick on tiles. We're also going to go buy a windowsill and put that on there. That entire bush is going to get replaced, and also that shed is going to get knocked down. And then at the other side, that is going to get knocked down as well, like that bush there. And ignore the massive grass pile in the middle all the dead grass we need to I'm gonna put that in the bin go on to the fence panels and then we're gonna go to keep wanting to say maplins we're gonna go to wicks get a fence panel and then b and or home bargains or like a lot of other places do these stick on tiles which are actually really nice like we've seen them like in these you know like display kitchens and everything in stores we've seen them and they look really nice so we're just gonna do that because realistically like when you look here this is fine like to paint over we had to do this because when he like chased this out to put this plug socket in, it was just a mess. So this is fine to paint over, but we just need a bit of something extra. So we're going to tile here up to the upstand and then all the way like up there as well. What's this? What's this? See you down. <laughs> Ready? Sit. Good girl. Can I have a paw? Thank you. Can I have other paw? Thank you. Ready? Oh, good girl. You're so nice. <laughs> We're in B&M. Yeah. Oh, we've found. Oh my God, there's a spider inside there. You found a spider. Can we hold it up? Yeah, please. The gun bro. Down there, the water is chilling. But How nice are these? These are like plastic. But obviously once you're soiling everything, then it's going to look really nice. But I also want to try and put like one of these in. I don't even know if you can see this. It's like a palm tree. Oh my god, I can't lift it. But it's £45. That's a really good price, I think. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I have like two of those. You can have them at either side of the patio. Apple tree. I've already got one there, haven't we? Yeah. We've got an apple tree in the garden already and we're gonna take it out and like replant it where we want it. I also like these and these are only £15. But do you think those would grow to be quite invasive? Yeah, they're pretty much, they like conifers small, so oh, okay. they would grow quite big. But you can always just, trim, you can trim them down. You can, but I think to keep them that shape, I thought there was a spider on with them, but it's just a little, mm. it's this to my camera. a and is actually such a good place for like garden things. Cracking open the monster. Makes me like an emo when I drink this. <laughs> not sweep, an emo. But... Sweep your hair foul. <laughs> I'm not going to do that, it's really embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I love it when it's warm, but I definitely chose the wrong outfit. Can you get me this outfit, please? There's a new BM that's opened up near us, and it is massive. I don't think they've opened up half of it. The one where the windows are still greyed out. Yeah. I don't think that bit's open yet. They've got a really nice outdoor bit with like loads of plants and everything though. Um, but they didn't have to stick on tiles, so we're still gonna go to home oh, bargains. Homey bargains. Homey bargains, bro. And then my plan. Wicks. <laughs> you made me think then, like, are we actually going to <laughs> Maplin? That's really nice. What flavour is it? It's like a like a limey flavour. Hmm. What do you think? It's nice. It's red or any other. Yeah. Do you want to take your Pepsi Max back? From when we last had KFC? That's not mine. I yeah, it is. Car. No, you didn't. I did. You were in the passenger side because I drove back from my mum and dad's and I swapped them around. Sure, I took mine out of the car and drank it. We've got a window sill and this is... Car upgrade. Oh, yeah. Car table. Oh. 
this is how we've had to put it in the car. I've got the cash car, but apparently two and a half meters of MDF don't fit. It's PVC, isn't it? Yeah, it's three meters as well. Oh, okay, <laughs> fair enough. We don't even need all this, but this was literally the only size that they did. So it's not a bad thing, really, because if we need this anywhere else, yeah. we didn't find any stick on tiles. Stick on tiles, yeah. So we're gonna go to Home Bargains now and have a look there instead, but yeah. Just thought I'd show you. We now have a window sill for the kitchen. I would probably should have got some trim. But it's fine, the tiles will fix that. Yeah. I know the camera angle's a bit wonky and we've been vlogging in the car for ages now. But we've just been into Home Bargains. Literally just came out with a pack of three lint rollers. Because they had four packs of the tiles that we wanted. But I think we need like 10 packs. And then again, they're a lot smaller in person than they are on the website. They're like that. And I feel like I'm not expecting them to be like massive normal tiles. I expected them to be like that because some of the others were like that, but not the white ones we wanted. And I just think it's going to look far too busy because you're going to be able to see a lot of the grout. So I think we're going to look somewhere else. I know B&Q do them. I think Dunelm do. I'm just going to have a look on my phone and see where else does them instead of going to loads of different shops because we've been out for so long now and it's so warm. I've got a really bad headache as well, so Dan's just gone to Greg's quickly. But yeah, I literally just came out with a pack of lint rollers for 99p. The only reason I got these is because there's loads of dog fur in my car now and you're probably thinking just hoover it, but I have tried to hoover a car with loads of dog fur in it before and it just doesn't work, whereas lint roller in actually does. So, I just got a pack of three of them. I actually can't even begin to explain how warm it is. Like, I've just had my camera up there for... I've been filming for a minute and it feels like it's going to overheat straight away. This is why I need the garden done. This is why the garden needs to be done and then we can just sit in the garden and drink. Today is my sign to go out and buy an SD card. I literally just went to hit record and it said there was a memory card error. I'm not joking yet. Half of my memory card, my SD card, is literally missing because it is that badly broken. And I don't even know how. But me and Dan last night fitted the kitchen blind. I was going to like block it. But realistically, we fell out. 37 times and had to cut it like seven times so i'm just going to show you what it looks like oh it actually has brought the kitchen together a lot more please just excuse the windowsill and we're also getting the tiles delivered today i know i'm stuck on repeating i keep repeating myself but this is what the blind looks like it's one of those day to night blinds so as you move it the white bits will cover like the mesh bits and it'll just be completely black out but i feel like it actually looks so nice just Let's just ignore the pots that need washing. <laughs> I feel like it's brought it together so much more. So this is what we was doing last night. Honestly, it took us so long. Like, at first it was too long. And then we cut it and we was like, wait, is it too short? And then we had to cut it again. And cutting a blind is not the easiest thing. And now I'm thinking we kind of need a new kettle. So this is the kettle that we have currently. I made a cup of tea this morning and the amount of lime scale in the bottom is actually gross. We didn't buy this kettle when we moved in. It was another thing from Dan's mum and dad. Um, but I don't even think it was theirs. I think it was one of their friends that was like moving out. So we've got that kettle. And now I think I'm going to go to either Dunelm or B&M and buy a new one. I'm kind of wanting a white one to match like the theme of the kitchen. Maybe a blue one. I've seen a blue one, but I don't know if it's going to be too much. I feel like I need white so that it opens it up more. Changed my outfit again because it looks like it's gonna rain outside. So I've just got on this little jacket from PLT. It's like a wool blazer. I've got the Boohoo Expanton tank top on, just some black leggings. I'm gonna put my shoes on now and then I've got like my little Chanel bag as well. And then yeah, we can go and hopefully buy a kettle. This is definitely meant to be a garden vlog part one, which it mainly is because we've been like buying the venting and things like that. Um, but yeah, we are still like kind of finishing off the kitchen at the same side. And I do want to show it at the same time. And I do kind of want to show you that as well. I've just got back and I went to George, B&Q and where else did I go? B&M. They're all shut because it's Sunday. I actually didn't go straight there. I went to my mum and dad's house because it's my dad's birthday today. So kettle buying wasn't a success. Instead, I think I'm just going to order one online. I did get a little parcel though. I think this is the kitchen tiles. Oh yeah. Oh, these are actually quite nice. These are a lot bigger than the ones that I saw 
in home bargains yesterday and these are more like a 3d effect and they're a glass effect as well so they'll look more realistic i know they're not going to look completely real but they'll cover up a lot of the stuff that we need covering up we can't actually tile because we've already got like the backsplash and things like that on and we never thought of tiling that's why i'm doing this so yeah i'm actually quite excited you get 10 in a pack and i ordered three so hopefully my measurements are correct. I think I need like 26 sheets all together, so I got 30. I think I'm gonna start over here, just cause there's like less things to clear off. I'm actually really excited to do this. I just hope I don't do it wrong. So I'm gonna crack open a Pepsi Max first. Start like in the middle as you would with normal tiling, but surely not. Down finish is working like two hours, so I'm kind of hoping I can get this done before down finish is work. So he's going to come back and he's going to fill the window. So I think I need to turn the electrics off because I'm going to have to unscrew those. Okay. No going back now, guys. because this this is going to be a very tricky situation but we've got two of them on so far so i'm going to carry on with this i'm probably going to have to turn the electrics off now and just let the alarm ring um and then take this off and pray i know what i'm doing hopefully the next part of this vlog is the kitchen tiled fingers crossed just literally taken me about two hours and i've not even fully done them so we're gonna do like all the way up to here like i've said before because obviously this part needs covering this is all I'm gonna do for the time being. We do still need to cork like along where the upstand is, but I'm gonna I'm not gonna lie. I think they look pretty good. Yeah, this is the tiles. Obviously they're not complete yet. The blind, we need to put the window sill on. We still need to do like here with the tiles as well, but obviously the window sill is gonna cover the majority of that as well. Not a lot of people are gonna like these tiles, I know that for a fact. I feel like slowly but surely it's coming together. Dan's gone to the pub instead of fitting the windowsill. To be fair, I don't blame him. I think I'm gonna go and join him. The fence isn't getting delivered till June the 5th as well. So I think this is just gonna be part one of the garden and then the kitchen as well, because I feel like I've shown you all the kitchen as well. But yeah, I think I'm gonna end this vlog here. If you all enjoyed watching, make sure to smash the video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe down below for more and I will see you all in my next video.